Hello world and welcome to another episode of How Not to Write a Novel. Now, um, it's close to midnight now and it might well be tomorrow by the time I finish recording this, but at least I can say that I've started recording this video on the day it was supposed to be made. Uh, I've not got that much writing done today, it's been a rather stressful day. But I've started writing a new scene and hopefully that will give me a way to move the story forward to get it back on a roll and the words will come flowing from my fingertips in a day or two. I can always hope. But this is what I've written today. It's only a short piece so I'll read all of it. Aaron glanced nervously around an opulent room. He'd never liked interviews, they made him twitch and, and he would be glad when he could get out of here. It wasn't that his skirt he'd be found inadequate, especially not here. But something in his soul rebelled against the idea of one human judging the value of another. It just seemed wrong in a way he couldn't quite put his finger on. He disliked the idea of a hierarchy in general, and if he was asked to imagine a perfect world, he'd probably have made everyone their own boss. But it was the interview process itself that had always struck him as dehumanising. That had been one of the deciding factors that had led him to being a preacher. As a child, he'd found it hard to imagine senior clerics assessing someone in a room like this. And by the time he'd found out that humans applied the same structure to their faith as they did their contracts, he'd already been committed. Changing his path had seemed inappropriate by then. And then a lot had changed, not least finding a monster in his congregation. So now he was sitting at one side of a carefully aged table, drumming fingers on mahogany rendered almost black by the strata of varnish. So that's a new scene and Aaron is in um, an interview. He's not actually the one being interviewed, but he still feels nervous about it, which the other person present, Daryl, is about to make a joke at his expense about. He's just doesn't like the idea of interviewing someone. It seems just as weird to him as being interviewed himself. Uh, I think that's a good way to go about introducing the fact that they're considering adopting a new guy into the group, if that makes sense. I kind of went into it yesterday that this guy, Dutch, is going to be joining this gifted group and they are kind of interviewing for the position. Because they've heard they've got someone who might be suitable, but they want to talk to him and find out if he's the right kind of person before they um, make a decision. Because obviously they're going to be trusting him with quite a lot if they accept him into their group. Um, this chapter is also going to give me an excuse to talk a little about the group, hopefully introduce them to the reader without making it an obvious exposition dump. So um, I think it's going quite well. I do quite like those words and I can't wait to see how it goes next, which is a good sign. I hope that means I'll be able to write quite a lot of words tomorrow. And because I've not written much today, I think I don't have that much to say. So um, I'll say goodbye for now and if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, you should probably check that out. And if you haven't seen tomorrow's yet, and I've actually made it, you should check that out. And if you like these videos or have anything to say, you should leave a comment in the comments below. Bye.